Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, I will be sharing with you all a soundbite from Dr. Heavenly and Carlos King's latest YouTube Live, where they are going to talk about Married to Medicine. Well, right in the beginning of the live, Dr. Heavenly asked Carlos King if he is striking content creators' channels. Um, I think that it definitely should be said he seems a little perturbed. He says that he doesn't mind what people say about him, but I think he is definitely annoyed. So um, you might just want to brace yourself for the sound bite. It might trigger you a little bit, but we're going to get into it. Now, before we do, I have to say the Copyright Act of 1976 says that my fair use commentary on this soundbite is allowed for criticism. Everything that I am saying is alleged and my opinion. I ask that you all please hit the like button on this video, even if you were to hit the dislike button. It all works the same, meaning that YouTube will recommend this video to more people who enjoy conversing about love and marriage Huntsville. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. I would love to have you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to play this soundbite. It is nearly uh, seven minutes. So um, I will be giving my opinion on the various points that he mentioned throughout this soundbite. Okay, here we go. It's not, but I know it's not true. So I'm gonna put it out there. You ain't striking nobody channels. It's you that keep emailing me and texting me <laughs> with channels. So clean that up. Tell the people you ain't striking nobody channels. Yeah, people put stuff out there and they believe it. And <laughs> Well, exactly, because listen, you know how this industry works. They want to believe the worst about you because they, they want to say like, oh, we got something on him. I do not strike content creators content. It wouldn't That's make sense because it builds you up, right? I just sit up here and said to you guys in nauseam that content creators and bloggers are the reason why our shows are successful. My raindrops know that at the end of the day, there's people out there who want to believe the worst about me. Now, what I will say is I did a live podcast with Melody, Dr. Melody Sheree Rogers. Yeah, well, her, her, right, that's her. Right, right. And I recorded it because I'm going to drop it on my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, a few people want, a few people uploaded my paid for podcast on their channels. You, you see what I'm saying? I don't see if I dropped it before I dropped it. When I drop my podcast interviews on Tuesday, everyone takes it. Everyone takes, and I don't, I don't care. That helps me promote it. So what happened was we saw a few people who uploaded my entire podcast interview, and I am going to upload it. I'm actually going to upload it next Tuesday. How could they so, get your podcast? How could they have gotten the whole thing before you dropped people, it? Instead of enjoying the show, people were doing this the whole the whole two hours. Oh, I see. I see. They did the whole two hours and they uploaded it. And that is what the issue was. But again, doesn't that make sense? You can't you can't record Marriage to Medicine and upload on your YouTube channel and not expect the NBC Universal to strike it and say, guys, if you want to talk about the show, do that. So that's all it was. But of course, someone took that and said, Carlos is a hater. He's he's striking black people who are blogging. He, he's, he's, he's striking people who talk about him. If I would have striked everybody who talks about me, I wouldn't have a job. There you have it. All y'all do is talk about me. And, I'm, and, and let's be clear, I'm not mad at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, but, but there you go. But again, again, that's the truth. People ran with it and try to make it seem like I'm this horrible person. And, and that's not the case. And I know you're not. And the, the, the next, next thing is, and I don't even know why this is a thing. They say that you recruited me for Marceau's event, uh, the Black Expo. And they keep calling it Expo. I don't know why they call it Expo, but it's a Black Business Expo, right? Amazon yeah. has backed that event. That's why I'm in it, because Amazon this, actually. This is what we know about some reality fans. Not all some, and I love, I love them all. You have a very small view reality fans who take this too far 
and it impacts people's personal lives. If you don't like somebody on TV, that's cool. If you if you don't like me, that's fine. What 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 is so deplorable and karma's gonna get your ass is when you personally contact people, the businesses, the brands, the police, and do all these things, and you're trying to attack them in their personal lives. When you watch a TV show, have an opinion, talk about it, tweet about it, comment, who, who cares? So when people are saying to you about the Black Expo, these are people who do not like Tisha Marceau, and that's okay. You do not have to like them, and that's fine. Why sit up here and attack anything associated with them, contact the brands, and get them removed? That's not okay. If my raindrops would ever do that, I would, I would be like, what are y'all doing? It's not okay to do that. Nobody should be assaulting people like that. It's crazy to me. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. But I wanted to say for the record, you didn't make me do that event. Those people no. are, they said that Amazon's backing the event. Dr. Heavenly, we need you. They paying me to do it. And, I, and I'm coming on. I didn't know anything about nothing, but they started texting me and saying, why are you doing I love Melody. Melody's my girl. That's who I love. We right? all love. The thing is this. I love Melody. You love Melody. We love Marcel. You like, it's okay, guys, to like somebody. To have an opinion. But, right. but that's the reason why people like to say, Carlos loves all the girls. That's what I knew was a problem when y'all take me loving someone as negative. And, and, and that's why I say to people, you some some people, not all, some of y'all go way too far with it. So again, y'all want to make it seem like Carlos King is striking YouTube channels who talks about him. I talk about um, bloggers who I love, who talk about me. I, I have fun with them. I'm never going to sit up here and, and, and fire somebody from their job the way y'all trying to do it by contacting people saying don't work with these folks. Now and check the that. The last thing I'm going to say about it is, honestly, we're trying to help black people come up. We can't tear each other down, y'all. I know we do a lot on TV, but people, real businesses, y'all can't tear down. And anything that's helping financial literacy and helping black people come ahead, because actually Amazon will be at that event looking for other people to do other things, but they're looking to spend money with our community. Guys, let's not strike stuff down. Make sure y'all register today. It's in Atlanta. It's the Black Business Expo. I don't even know that. But y'all can find it on my page. But support a brother. You know what I'm saying I don't know what's going on with marriage, love and marriage Huntsville because I ain't watched it since. So when y'all say I do or something and I'm against somebody and I ain't loyal, I don't know nothing. I know that I love Melody Hope. She's a very powerful black woman. I don't have nothing against Martel. I don't know the story, so I can't even speak on it. But anyway, you get the drama you need for your show. So <laughs> we're gonna do brother Tucker too. I, I can't wait to review your show. Oh, no. So the thing is this. What I want to announce to the audience is at the end of the day, this is something that me and Heavenly have organically been doing since Marriage to Medicine. Okay, y'all. So at the end of that soundbite, it was insinuating that Carlos and Dr. Heavenly, they're going to continue to collaborate, not just when Married to Medicine ends. I would imagine Married to Medicine has about another month to a month and a half left, including the reunion, and then season 10 will wrap up. And then I'm guessing, you know, a month and a half from now, Married to Medicine will be done, and then I'm guessing Love and Marriage Chunsville will be soon underway. So the reason why I think, this is my opinion, the reason why I think that Carlos wants to continue these weekly collaborations is because he will use that opportunity to vent when the millimeters are pissing him off. <laughs> That's what I think. I think that he is going to start using his Monday evening recaps with Dr. Heavenly to bitch and moan, okay? That's what I think he's going to do. I could be wrong. But I have a feeling that's what he going to do. You know, he's thinking he's somebody's daddy and he is about to pull out his belt and get a whooping, you know, and I haven't been threatened with a whooping in a really long time. But, you know, that's what it's giving. OK, so we have a lot to get into. I did take some notes. So right out the gate, 
He said that he is not striking channels. That totally negates what we have seen, the visual from a strike. It was in the lower, almost lower left-hand corner. It said that the strike was brought on by a Carlos King. He did not address the visual that we've seen on some blogs, nor did Dr. Heavenly ask him that. With that being said, Dr. Heavenly claimed that people have been messaging her about Carlos King striking channels, and she wanted him to clear the air. I think that this was actually pre-produced. Now, I'm not saying that she hasn't gotten any DMs or emails. I'm sure some millimeters have reached out to her, you know, like, why do you collaborate with him? You know, we don't really care for him. So I'm pretty sure that somebody has DM'd Dr. Heavenly about the strikes. But I also think that in conjunction with that, Carlos has pre-produced this week's collaboration. And he said, Dr. Heavenly, can you do me a favor before we get into the recap of the Married to Medicine episode? Can you please ask me if I'm sure? striking channels because I want to get some things off of my chest. And she said, sure. That's what I think has taken place. So now we are getting to the root of it. You know, have you ever like been in an argument with someone or you just sense that something is off about their energy and they may say that it's one thing, but really it's something else or there's a deeper issue. Now we know what really ticked Carlos King off. He's mad that some people who attended the podcast in Huntsville last month streamed it, whether they streamed it on Instagram. I know that was where I watched a lot of it. And then some people did have it on their YouTube channels. He's mad that it was streamed before he got a chance to release the footage on his own YouTube channel so he can make his coins. Just say that though. Just say that. You don't even have to like strike channels. He could have made a quick video. He could have gone live on his Instagram page and said, look, y'all, I know y'all were so excited about being at the podcast. I know that it's very natural to go live and stream it because you want to share it with other people. That's a very natural reaction to something that you're enjoying. But, you know, I was going to show that on my YouTube channel. So if you all could do me a huge favor, please take those videos down. That would be great. You know, but instead, obviously, this past month, he has been harboring that, holding that in, and he is mad. And I think that he, he could just make a quick video and just be forthcoming. Everyone is adults, content creators. This is a business like on YouTube studio, YouTube says right at the top that we are partner with them. So we're all professionals. They would have all understood. And also, if you heard him in that soundbite, he is going to release the footage from the Huntsville podcast next Tuesday, February 27th on his YouTube channel. He typically does release interviews on Tuesday mornings, like at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I assume that'll be Tuesday morning when he releases his footage from the podcast. But just say that, brother man. We understand people make mistakes. So that's all you had to say was that they made a mistake by streaming it. Another piece of feedback that I would give to Carlos is if you did not want anyone to stream any footage, when they were on that website purchasing that the ticket, you should have had a pop-up say that in red letters. When you attend, please do not stream any of the footage that you will see because this will actually air for Carlos King's podcast as well as Love and Marriage Huntsville. And then once they attended the venue, that should have been said right out the gate right at the beginning of the podcast, or even if you had like a little small flyer to give to everyone so that it reads that, then you could say to them, well, we told you when you bought your ticket not to stream it. We told you verbally on the mic before we got started. And we had the little insert, the little flyer that we handed all of you asking you not to stream it. So you knew better and we're all adults, you know? But I have a feeling that nobody got that info, that heads up. And it's very natural to stream. People stream concerts. Like, I did not go to Renaissance, 
the Beyonce's tour. But when I tell you, I know the dance moves. I know the outfits. I ain't exaggerating. Ebony knows. Ebony has the entire Renaissance concert. It's like two and a half hours. I've saved it on one of my playlists here on YouTube. I watch clips like nearly every day. I could be one of Beyonce's background dancers. It is totally natural, normal, and common for people to stream things that they are enjoying. So he should have been a very clear communicator at the podcast tour in Huntsville if he did not want anybody to stream it. So then they switched subjects to the expo in Atlanta. Dr. Heavenly mentioned that people are calling it Espo. She And she's like, I don't know why they're saying that. So Dr. Heavenly, baby, you are not good at trying to play a dumb blonde. As you have told us several times, you are many things, but you ain't never been dumb a day in your life. And say what you want to say about Dr. Heavenly. I know she's not everybody's cup of tea, but I believe that we all agree that homegirl is smart. She is passionate about finances and she will tell you how to make some more money. We all know she's educated. She's a dentist. She specializes in buying dental businesses, building up the clientele, and then she sells them at a higher value because she has increased the number of customers that go to that particular dental office. She broke that down seasons ago on the show. So she ain't dumb. She know why people are telling her it's an espo. And Carlos totally ignored that because, again, he's pissed. And he did not want to acknowledge that, you know, people are calling it that because Tisha struggles with her speech. He didn't even want to say that. But what he did say was that karma was going to get people who are calling folks jobs and calling the police. I have a feeling, in my opinion, he's probably referring to, you know, people who have been annoyed with Stormy and they were calling like Walmart and Target. You know, that's not really my thing. That's not my style. You know, I know that Stormy and her mom are totally out of pocket, especially Betty. I know that Stormy definitely, she seems jealous of Melody. But, you know, I ain't never called no store, no retailer on the girl. That's not my thing. But, um, you know, you all also know from listening to my videos, watching my videos that, you know, I don't like it when people try to use God, spirituality, karma as a weapon. And they try to say that, like, bad things are going to happen to you because they don't like something that you said or did. You know, nobody is perfect. And I'm sure he would not like it if people said that to him. You know, like, well, bad things are going to happen to you because of the escape a bio that she tried to do and and um but you know everything that happened on roa he wouldn't like anyone to say that to him either so i i just don't like when people go there with spirituality now dr heavenly said that carlos did not ask her to speak at the expo he said that some fans go too far and carlos said that he is not striking channels the way that people try to call other people's jobs. So he's trying to say that although people have been negative, he's not returning that energy. And I mean, I'm just not fully convinced because I could sense his pistosity. If that's a word, I am making it up. I know it's not a word. I could sense it, his anger. So, you know, uh, I'm just not fully convinced. We, we saw the visual unless he has an assistant that knows his YouTube logins and they were striking channels. I mean, we saw his name. And Dr. Heavenly did make it clear that she loves Melody, you know, and I believe that I am convinced, you know, like I said, during the Carnival 19, when the entire country was shut down, two people that kept me entertained was Dr. Heavenly and Nene on their respective channels and social media. They would go live every single day. I'll never forget. And uh, we were in such uncertain times and they would go live and talk about different things. We were all just trying to remain calm. And um, she interviewed Melody like two or three times when the country was shut down. And I remember before she would uh, bring Melody up, she would say, y'all know I love a smart woman. I, I love and value education. This girl has her degree. 
She was a teacher. She does love Melody, y'all. I know Dr. Heavenly can be messy, but she does love Melody. Now, um, I want to also touch on something that Carlos said in that soundbite. So he was talking about fans going too far. And he briefly said that, you know, he he definitely would say something to his raindrops if any of them, you know, tried to call people's jobs. So he did not dwell on that sentence that he said for long, but I kind of took that as he wishes Melody would make a video or go live or do a post asking millimeters not to do things like that. You know, and I think that she is just staying out of those types of situations she, or she may speak up on it when she wants to. We all know that in December, when she expressed her grievances with the blogger, she said that she did not agree with there being um, someone at the open house for Destiny's uh, marital home. She did say she didn't like that, you know. And um, she's not even close with Destiny. So I'm sure that if she feels led or inspired to say, you know, everyone just, you know, use your common sense, treat others how you want to be treated in return, you know, let's not call businesses or anything like that. If she feels led to say that, she'll do it. But Carlos, I also want to remind you that some people that cannot stand Melody, they play those same types of games because they will try to type up false reviews regarding her products and trying to say that they're not getting them or they're not getting them in a timely fashion. I've seen it and it's, it's crazy. So the craziness and people violating boundaries, it's happening on both sides of the fence on both sides of the equation. But um, I really want to know what you all think about that loaded soundbite. I think that daddy, he done hung up the belt, Black Bertha. He think anybody can get it. But like I said, I ain't been threatened with the whooping in a long time. So I don't know if y'all go out and get a switch or what or how that rolls. But Yes, please let me know your thoughts on that soundbite. I thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the support. It means so much to me. And please hit the like button on this video. And please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit if you have not already done so. Thank you all again for the birthday wishes. It totally made my day. I'm always so thankful to see another birthday. I outlived my brother at this point. I just turned 44. He passed away a month before his 44th birthday. Um, he had a blood clot that traveled to his lung. Um, such a nice man, educated black man, professional and, and so kind. So I'm very thankful for life and health in my body and all my needs being met. And so um, it was wonderful. If you had a rough day today, I'm sorry to hear that. But I hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday tomorrow. I'm sure that it will be great for you. And thanks again for watching. And I will talk with you all soon. Bye.